bloodthirsty villains rushed in upon us from every side. What could three do against so many? They turned us out into the cold, and from then on, Toad Hall was theirs. And I'm sad to tell you that they're not treating it very well. There's a party there every night. We'll gobble his grub, we'll puzzle his wine, smoke all his pipes to pieces. We'll swizzle his gin, we're gonna begin a party that never ceases. While Toad's in jail, we'll read his mail, wear his clothes and drink his ale. We'll use up all his pretty stationery. <laughs> Use another man's stationery? Egad, it's engraved. Positively ungentlemanly. Let's vote on using it. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Nay. That's better. Continue the party. We'll tarnish his brass. We'll walk on his grass. Leave all his light bulbs burning. We'll pile up his sink, paint all the walls pink, cause Toad is not returning. For twenty years the rumors say, Toad will in the dungeon stay. Let's drink his port and use his snooker table. <laughs> drink another man's port? Play snooker on another man's table? Never! Let's vote. In favor? Aye! Against? Nay! Thank you. Heaven. Continue. We'll look in his drawers, we'll shorten his oars, leave rings on every table. We'll dull all his knives, knock over his hives, we'll never clean up the stable. While Toad's away, the weasels play, we'll read his diary every day. And every night, we'll telephone long distance. <laughs> long distance on another man's telephone? Never! Hold! Just because we're unmannerly weasels does not mean we are not gentlemen. A gentleman would never use another man's stationery, port wine or snooker table uninvited. So he would never, never phone long distance without asking. Right? Right! Everything else <laughs> is certainly permissible. So... Let's gobble his grub, let's puzzle his wine, let's smoke his pipes to pieces. Let's swizzle his gin, we're gonna begin a party that 